welcome. My name is Eric, the Bug Guy Palmer. I'm with Southwest Exterminators, where we personalize your pest control, and you have reached frequently asked questions concerning pest control. This video series is designed to help educate you, the consumer, to help you make better, more informed, better educated decisions concerning your pest control needs. Today, we're going to continue our uh, video series on termites. And today we're specifically going to be talking about the difference between subterranean termite and dry wood termite damage. The way you, the consumer, can know the difference just by looking at the damage itself if that damage is uh, apparent and available to you. Now, we have subterranean termites and dry wood termites. Subterranean termites live in the ground and they wander up into our structure. Dry wood termites live their entire life within the structure. An easy way to tell dry wood termites is you're looking for frass. You're looking for that dry wood uh, or that dry wooden poo. That's what frass is actually the, just the correct term for their defecant, their poo. And they'll kick these out, little kick holes, and you'll find a pile of them usually, usually a pyramid pile or scattered along the, uh, the floor. And if you want to know the difference between the pyramid and the scatter, please uh, check the videos that we've already published specifically on that subject. Um, the cool thing, though, with dry woods is they make really ornate and rather beautiful uh, termite damage. They eat against the grain of the wood, and one of the things that it kind of looks like is that you took your Dremel tool and a lot of little sanders, and you sanded through and made really ornate little designs, really circular and ovular. There are, you know, unfortunately, they're doing damage to the home, but the damage is rather ornate. And the key to remember is that they're eating against the grain of the wood. Subterranean termites, on the other hand, live in the ground and they wander up into our structures. They build mud tunnels, shelter tubes, and bring mud into the damage or into where they're living. So if you're looking at a piece of 2x4 and in between all the damage there's a lot of mud and dirt and nastiness caked right in there, that's a definitive sign that you're dealing with subterranean termites. And you're also, just to make sure that you're dealing with subterranean termites, one of the other things you're looking for is that they do not eat the grain of the wood. They'll eat all the wood around it, and they'll leave the little grain lines. And it'll look at it, when you're looking at the 2x4 that's damaged, it'll look like you have these little fins of grain left in it. So if you just see these little fins and a lot of mud caked up into it, you're dealing with subterranean termites. Now, the difference in the way that you treat subterranean termites versus dry wood termites is almost night and day. There are certain services that you can do for dry woods that you absolutely would not do for subterranean termites, and there's treatments for subterranean termites that you absolutely should not be doing for dry woods. So knowing the difference is key. So if you uh, uh, are dealing with a termite infestation, you're looking at it, now you know how to tell the difference between dry wood termites and subterranean termites. Uh, once again, my name is Eric, the Bug Guy Palmer. I'm with Southwest Exterminators where we personalize your pest control, and this is the Frequently Asked Questions Concerning Pest Control video series. If you like what you see, please like, comment, share, get the word out so we can have well-educated consumers who know who, what kind of companies to hire, what kind of technicians to talk to, and so you can make the best possible pest control decision that you could make for your home, your situation, your life. I bid you adieu, have a great day, and please, if you like what you see, Comment, share, like, and watch a couple of my other videos. That'd be greatly appreciated. Have a great day.